The headline article in this month's accounting news is about IFRIC 23, um, which is about uncertain tax positions and the accounting for those. When I came to Australia back in 2008, I was actually quite surprised at how we accounted for uncertain tax positions here. Uh, I'd come from a world where FIN 48 was king and assessments had to be made of all those uncertain tax positions on day one. However, when I got to Australia, it was a very different world. A very relaxed culture seemed to influence the way we did accounting for uncertain tax positions. For example, we would wait until we had an assessment from the ATO on the table before we'd normally contemplate booking a provision or discussing a contingent liability. So if RIC 23 changes all of that, uh, we now have to make those assessments up front, assuming there's no detection risk and the tax office would have all the necessary information to form a view about a particular uncertain tax position. So in that regard, there's a real call to action here. Um, companies need to prepare sufficient and appropriate audit evidence prior to the audit to demonstrate to their auditors that they have appropriately identified, considered and applied the new rules under IFRIC 23. So please do read the uh, article. Um, this will be an interesting change and I think it will impact all of you.